Hi guys, so let me show you this project over in Bromley that we're starting. This is a resin patio area. We've got a, uh, we've got a render the garage. If you come through here, we've got the, um, the walls that are up at the minute. So this wall, this retaining wall has got to be moved right back to the fence. It's going to be broken up, moved right back to the fence. And we're going to put some resin in here or some slabs, whichever the client wants. They haven't quite, quite decided yet. So uh, once they make a decision, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be able to install. And then um, this wall's coming down. We've got a patio, a sort of half moon patio uh, out of sandstone going in in that area. Uh, and that's going to go have a planter down the back, uh, so it's going to look really nice and it's going to really shape up the garden. Uh, and then this garage is all going to be rendered. And then if we go out the front, we've got a driveway here, and we are going to be turning this into a fantastic resin barrel driveway, which is going to cover the entire driveway, and it's going to look phenomenal. Uh, and there's also a nice area of resin. We're going to see, see, see these sets that are already placed in. They've been put in the wrong place. So these are going to be moved and these are going to be put around the perimeter here. Uh, and then we're going to have resin in the middle. So it will look beautiful. So uh, I'm going to show some progress through this video and, uh, and then we can fast forward to the end product. As you can see, the excavation is well underway. We've got the digger up here. We've marked out our perimeter of our semicircular patio uh, in orange spray. Uh, we've got a digger up here and we've, we've cleared all this wall, we've broken it all down and we've started getting it out. We've built a ramp up to get the digger up here and then now we're going to dig into this and finish this and pull the digger back down out of here and then we're going to start clearing the rest of this out and get all of this out and it's all out the front now and we're, uh, we're piling everything through here. So we've got big five soil here and waste, and then the grab's gonna come along. That's gonna take that in the morning. Uh, it's gonna bring some groundwork with it. We've got some materials turning up. We're gonna hopefully get the footings in for the wall today. Uh, once we've dug all that out, cleared it all up, and then we're gonna get the footings in. The footings are what the, the block, the concrete H blocks, which are hollow blocks, which get filled with concrete as well. It's gonna be enforced with rods. Uh, the footings gonna be enforced with rods as well for extra strength because it's a retaining wall. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Hi hey guys. So. We have basically prepared all of our area. I've got everything dug. It's just the last few little bits we're getting through. We've started to get the concrete in because we're aware it's near the end of the day and we want the concrete to start setting over the weekend so we can come in here uh, Monday morning and the concrete will be set as opposed to, um, obviously it's Thursday now, so it gives it time to set as opposed to um, it not setting and then having to do it in the morning. So. Um, you can see we've got some nice depths here. We've dug the footings extra lower, extra wider. The extra width is for stability, uh, for concrete blocks to be going on. Um, and then obviously the footings are going to come slightly higher than the uh, prepared ground level that we've got. And then we're going to be putting a sheet on top of it. And we're going to be putting groundwork on top with the concrete base. Um, and then sand, cement, slabs. Hi guys, back over at our project over in Beckenham. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So as you can see, quite a difference from the last video where it's a little bit chaotic obviously we're stripping it all out everything was all over the place and as you can see we've got our permit for concrete down on our driveway it's, like, it's, like, it's really taking shape we've put a bean store over it that was a little optional extra or well, addition that the client decided to add, add to it to keep the bins in which keeps them tucked away out of the way gives them full use and access to the driveway we've installed a nice little apron in front it's in in front of the front door to give a nice little landing pad and a bit of je ne sais quoi. So as we walk through, this bit quite isn't yet quite finished. We've got a gate to go up in here. We've obviously got some sorting out to do. We've got some street to work through. Uh, we've still got a bit of the patio to do. We've rendered the wall. We've built our block wall. We've put our patio in 90%-ish. Uh, we've pointed some of it, we're just waiting for some more slabs, so as soon as those turn up, we're going to get those in, we're going to get some copings on the wall as well. They're going to go all the way through, as you see, a nice little brick wall retainer. We've put some nice little 100 by 100 sets, which we have cut handcrafted out of this paving to put around the perimeter. We've got a nice brick edge, obviously the slabs are going to go down on top of the steps. This area is all going to be resined all the way through. In the next video, you will see the resin in progress, and you will also see the finished resin on article and you will see the tops on the walls potentially the wall will be painted obviously as you see this job needs a thorough good clean we've been working in this project for probably all in all about three weeks now and obviously it's a long time there's a lot of dust there's a lot of dirt 
you know, that you create when you're cutting materials, you're using materials, you're moving stuff around. So you can see this is really starting to take shape now. There's a little bit of snagging to do, some bits of pointing, there's some finishing touches, and there's all sorts of little bits and bobs that need to be sorted out to give that perfect finish, perfect right pay finish for this project. And I cannot wait to see this resin go down and to show you guys A, the finished video, and B, the finished article, exactly what we do. And look, this is a decent sized project. You've got a front and back, and you know, you, th there is an, a level of skill and competence that you need to complete and install correctly a project of this nature. So that is why you should choose right pave. But look, we're gonna roll on to the next part uh, soon, and you're gonna see this, and uh, let's, get, let's, let's get this resin down, just like that. Hi guys, so over at the Bromley project, we are getting the resin down now. As you can see, the patio's in, it looks fantastic. Uh, the resin's going down, and the Whitby, Whitby Abbey resin, which is a UVR resin, it looks absolutely fantastic. Goes really well with bricks, complements the patio really well. Uh, the wall's ready to be painted, uh, and we're gonna be coming out now with the resin all the way through to the driveway. guys finished product over in Bromley this fantastic driveway that has been installed in resin bound with the edges the border with the Abbey resin which is a UV resin it's completely permeable it looks awesome and it's finished off the job insulation quality fantastically so you've got our bin stores over here store wheelie bins We've got a nice little front apron here. We've got front aprons at the front of the, uh, the frontage of the job. The border in soldier courses that goes around the entire perimeter. I've got recess manhole coming through new gates. Fantastic bit of metal work. This beautiful. Also walk through. And we're garden space, wall, coping stones, all rendered, new patio, brickwork. All pointed up, bring over the steps and half outside of the inset process into the patio. As you can see, we've done around the gullies, the drainage. It's a fantastic outside space. We've created a lot more space and given the clients a usable, beautiful garden space, which was previously messy, overgrown, as you can see by the earlier part of the video. It was overgrown, unusable. Not that great. So, if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe, um, and get in contact via the website. Uh, phone us, call us if this is something you're interested in having done. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>